One of the finishing touches I apply to the vast majority of my pictures is a vignette. I think it can really help to hold the viewer's attention in on the main subject matter. It doesn't matter if it's a landscape, it doesn't matter if it's a portrait, a still life, it's worth trying. OK, so how do we actually apply a vignette? Well, the first thing we need to do is come over to the toolbox. We're going to be using a marquee tool. Now, with the tool options open, we've got the rectangular marquee tool. Yes, it's worth experimenting with this, but in the vast majority of cases, it's going to be the elliptical marquee tool. So taking a look at this, I've got the new selection. The feather is down to zero pixels. We're not going to feather this. Now, um, I'll come back to that just a little bit later. But just closing down the tool options, I'm now going to click down. I'm going to drag it out over the subject matter like this. Just going to move because we've got the new selection. We've got that little uh, rectangle with a flag, which means we can move this around. But don't worry, we can actually reposition this uh, just a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. Now for the vignette, over to the Layers panel, we're going to use an Adjustment layer, and the Adjustment layer we're going to be using is Hue Saturation. Now when Hue Saturation opens, you'll notice in it goes, and you'll notice this mask as well. White in the centre, black around the outside. Let's come down to the Hue Saturation. We're going to go down to Lightness. We're going to click on this, and as I move it down, you'll notice, yeah, the centre is now going dark. It doesn't look much like a vignette, does it? So the outside, the black is being protected. The inside of the mask there, that's where it's actually happening. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to make it deliberately darker for now. I'm going to take it down to 57. And as I say, it doesn't look a lot like a vignette. Now, if you just take a look at the mask, we need to invert this. Now, to invert it, it's a very, very simple shortcut. On a PC, it is Control and I. That's Control and I. On a Mac, it is Command I. That's Command and I. And there it is. We have now inverted it. So black is on the center, white is around the outside. So anything we do with the adjustment layer is going to affect around the white. This is the area of masking. OK, this hard edge, let's deal with that. Now we're going to feather it by coming up to Filter. We're going to be using a blur tool, and the blur tool we're going to be using is the Gaussian blur. I'm going to bring my cursor out. I'm going to click right on the edge, so there it is. We can now see the edge in this little window. We've got a radius of 0 0.1 pixels, which gives us a hard edge. Now, the more we move this up, if it's just take it to around about 8 or 9. When I release it, you'll notice the way it's softened out slightly. Let's take it up even further to this area here. Just keep an eye on the image itself. You'll notice the way that just popped out. You can see there it is there. And if we just take a look in the preview as well, moving it up even further, I'm going to take this to round about the 70 some odd into that area, just switching it on and off. You can see the preview. There it is, job done, looking pretty good. So let's close that down. I'm just going to come to the lightness slider again. If you move it all the way, to the left, you can see you can get a very dark edge, you've got a black edge to this. If you move it all the way to the right, you can make it brighter and you can get a white edge. So it doesn't matter if you want a dark vignette, a light vignette, you can apply it here on the hue saturation using the lightness slider. Right, let's just drop it back down to that area there. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker for now. And I'm going to click just to close that down. Right, I mentioned about repositioning this actual vignette. Well, if you pick up the Move tool, I'm closing this down. Incidentally, if you don't want this to pop open every time you click on one of the tools, if you come over to this little lines with the downward face and arrow, click on that and just uncheck the Auto Show Tool options. So now the next time we click on a tool, it's not going to pop open. Right, I've got the Move tool. If I click down, Look at the way I can move this around so we can reposition our vignette, perhaps moving it slightly more to the right hand side. You'll see on the mask as well, the way the mask is moving over there on the layers panel into that area. But there's more. If we come up to image, if we go to transform, if we go to free transform, that'll put the transform tool around our vignette. If I come down to this grab handle here, I can click down, I can drag it out so we can make our vignette, we can change the actual shape of our vignette by just moving it around into that area. Notice the grab handle's coming just off the edge, I'm going to use Command-0, zero, Control-0. Zero. Now we can come down to the grab handles, you can right click, you might want to go to something like, uh, let's go to Skew, and you can then move this round, you can just drag it out and change the shape. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to this time distort. 
going to pull this grab handle out, just pulling it out, giving a little bit more lightness down to the bottom corner. Something like that looks pretty good. Just right clicking again, going back to skew, going to bring that in to that position there. Just double clicking inside the frame to apply it. Job done. Right, the next thing, taking a look. If I just switch this on and off, you can see the difference that's making to the image. For now, for this demonstration, I'm going to leave it looking deliberately darker, but I will come back to this just a little bit later. There's something else. Don't forget, we're actually using a mask. So we can come over to the toolbox. We can pick up the gradient tool. Now with tool options, I'm going to make sure I've got the radial gradient. And in the gradient editor here, if we click in the window, make sure you have got the foreground to transparent. That is important. Foreground through to transparent. I'm going to click OK to that. I'm going to take the opacity right the way down to around about the 40%. What we got there, 38. That'll do nicely. Now with the gradient tool, we start just to paint in a little bit of light like this. So we're using the mask, you can see those little sort of grey areas there. That's where I'm just painting in the, the light with the image. And just down this tree in that background. That looks pretty good. If you've got an area that's just a little bit too bright, press X on the keyboard. So now white is the foreground colour. And we're just going to darken that down slightly. There it is, just to make it a little bit less intrusive on the image itself looking pretty good like that, just pressing X again, so now black is the foreground colour. Black, don't forget, is just going to remove that mask, allowing us to see the image underneath. And there it is, job done. If you want to make the vignette darker again, you don't have to use the lightness slider. You can change the blend mode to multiply, and you can see the way that will darken it down. Don't forget the opacity slider. You can use that just to blend it in, and perhaps something like that would look pretty good. Let's just go back to normal. I'm going to take the opacity slider into that area there, just switching it on and off. You can see the difference we can make to that image using the vignette. This particular vignette, though, don't forget, we have taken a couple of stages further by using the masking just to paint in a little bit of light. But go on, give it a try. Experiment with your pictures. I hope you've enjoyed this video, but until the next time, it is happy imaging, and take care.